हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट एट द इंस्टेंस शोन द हंड्रेड पाउंड ब्लॉक ए इज मूविंग डाउन द प्लेन एट फाइव फीट पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज दिलासिटी ऑफ द ब्लॉक राइट वाइल बींग अटेज टू द फिफ्टी पाउंड pound block b right so we have this 50 pound block b as well it is they are attached to each other through this uh, pulley and rod mechanism right so further it is said that if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the inclined surface is 0.2 we are required to determine the acceleration of a and the distance a slides before it stops right so we have to find the distance is block a will travel until it will stop right and it is said that neglect mass of the pulleys and cables so the cables and pulley mass is are negligible so now first of all what we will do is that we will isolate this block a we will consider the free body diagram of this block a and let's say that uh, the tension in this rope number 1 is let's say t1 right we have two ropes so let's say the tension in uh the upper rope is let's say t1 similarly the weight of this block will be acting vertically downward right so we will have that weight which will be acting vertically downward and the weight of block a is 100 pounds right so this is 100 pound weight similarly the inclined surface will apply the normal force on this block a right let's say so this is that normal force of the surface and if the block is moving downwards then there will be the kinetic friction and that kinetic friction will oppose its motion right so the kinetic friction will be acting up the incline and this will be point 2 times n right and the incline surface is given in the form of this triangle the angle of the incline surface is given in the form of this triangle right similarly if if i extend the line of action of this normal force then this 100 pound weight will be making that same theta which the incline is making with the horizontal right so if i draw this triangle right we have this triangle and this is the incline angle right this is 5 the hypotenuse is 5 the perpendicular is 3 and this is 4 right so now we can resolve this 100 pound force into its components it will have two components one of its component will be acting in this direction this one will be the sine component and this one will be the cos component like this right so we can write that this is 100 cos of theta and this component is 100 sin of theta so now if if this is my uh positive x direction and if this is my positive y direction so now if i apply the equation of kinetics to this block right let me write that we are considering the free body diagram of block a so now if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y right the mass of block a and a y so as we know that the block is only accelerating along the incline that is along the x axis is right so there is no acceleration along the y axis is that is the normal to the surface of the incline right so this will become zero so from this we can say that the summation of forces along y will be equal to zero so now as we can see that uh, this normal force is acting in the negative y direction right this is our assumed positive x and y direction so we can write that this is minus n and the cos component of the weight is acting downwards which is acting in the positive y direction so i will write uh plus 100 cos of theta and this will be equal to 0 and from this triangle we can say that cos of theta is uh, base divided by hypotenuse so it is 4 divided by 5 so i can write that this is 4 divided by 5 and 100 divided by 5 is 20 and 20 multiplied by 4 is 80 right so we can say that this n from this equation is 80 pounds now if we apply the uh, summation of forces along x equals to again the mass of block a into ax right so it is accelerating downwards 
and let's say that the ax acceleration of block a is let's say a a right so now as we can see that uh, this t this tension in the cable is acting in the negative x direction if this is our positive direction down the incline is positive so we can write that this is minus t and uh, this sign component is acting in the positive x direction so i have to write plus 100 sin of theta and sin of theta from this triangle is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so it is 3 divided by 5 right so we can write that this is 3 divided by 5 and this kinetic friction is acting in the positive in the negative x direction so i have to write minus 0 0.2 n and n is 80 right so i will write this as 80 and this will be equal to the mass of uh, block a so the weight is 100 pounds so we have to divide it by g value which is 32.2 into a a a a is the acceleration of block a so now we can simplify this uh, this is uh, 100 divided by 5 is again 20 and 20 into 3 is 60 right so i will write 60 minus 0 0.2 into 80 so this will give us 44 so this is minus t plus 44 equals to 100 divided by 32.2 100 divided by 32.2 so this gives me 3.11 ae and now if i multiply this whole equation with minus sign so this will become positive this will become negative and this will become negative right so let's say this is this is equation 1 now after this we will consider the free body diagram of this block uh, b so again let's say that the tension in this uh, lower cable is let's say t2 so this is t2 and its weight will be acting vertically downward and its weight is uh, 50 pounds right so this is 50 and it will be accelerating with uh, with some acceleration it will be accelerating so that acceleration is let's say a, a b so now we are considering block b and we will apply the equation of kinetics uh, and if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to m b a b or we can say a y but a y for block b is a b right so i will write that this is a b so now uh, for this block B, this is our positive x and y direction, right? So now we can write that T2 is acting in the positive uh, y direction and the weight is acting downward which is 50 and this will be equal to the mass of block B which is uh, 50, the weight is 50 divided by 32.2 AB and we can simplify this equation so this is, this is remember this is t1 right this is t1 so this is t2 minus 50 equals to 50 divided by 50 divided by 32.2 so this is 1.55 1.55 eb so this is equation 2 now after this we will consider uh, this pulley c and d since they are moving together so we will consider them as a uh, one system right so this is let's say my pulley c and let's say this is my pulley d and they are attached to each other right so here this uh, rope is continuous and the tension in this upper rope is t1 so here we will have that t1 and here we will have that t2 uh, sorry t1 again and in the in the lower cable the tension is t2 right so this will be t2 and this is t2 so now if we consider pulley c and d free body diagram and again if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to the mass times a y right so pulley c and pulley d they will accelerate uh, together and their acceleration will remain the same since they are tied together 
but is we know that the masses of the pulleys are negligible so the sum this will become zero right so this means that for these two pulleys the summation of forces along y will be equal to zero so from this we can write that 2 t1 minus 2 t2 is equal to zero or we can say that t1 is equal to t2 so now uh, this result is very important since in equation 1 and 2 uh, we have two equations and we had four unknowns right so now t1 is equal to t2 so now we have two equations and three unknowns now after this what we will do is that we will find the relationship between the acceleration of block b and the acceleration of block a so to find the relationship between the acceleration of block a and b we need to define some datum lines right so for pulley c and d let's say that this is my datum right since the center of this pulley will uh, remain at rest it will not move right so this is my datum for block a this is my datum and for block b this surface is my datum right so now the position of block a will be measured from this line and let's say that the position of block a is positive in this direction and let's say that the position coordinate attached with that block a is let's say s a similarly this block c uh, pulley c and d will move together so let's say that uh, this will be the position coordinate the of that pulley c let's say this is s c and for block b let's say that this is uh, this will define the position of block b this is s b so if block b is moving downward so that will be considered as negative uh, moment right and this is the positive direction of the motion of block B. Similarly, this will be from here to here, this will be. So, this is SD, remember, right? And let's say that the distance between uh, both of these pulleys is, let's say, X. And let's say that the the height of this whole mechanism is let's say represented by h so now we need to write uh, the the length equations for both the ropes right so we have two ropes or cables right so for let's say this is let's say cable one so for cable one we can write that s a uh, let me write that now we are applying the concepts of kinematics right so now we can write that S A plus this S C and plus this S C. So this will become 2 S C and this will be equal to L1. Now if I take the derivative of this whole equation with respect to time, so this will S A will become V A plus 2 V C. And since the length of the rope is constant, it is not changing with respect to time, so its derivative will become 0. Now, if I take one another derivative, so this will become uh, A A plus 2 A C and this will be equal to 0. And now, we need to write equation for the length of this second cable, right? So, uh, we have this length, right? We have this length. So, this length is S D minus S B. So, I will write S D minus s b and plus this length so that is s d so plus s d and this is equal to l2 right <clears throat> so now uh, this is 2 s d minus s b equals to l2 right so now we need to relate uh, the acceleration of block b with the acceleration of block a but as we can see that in this equation are uh, in this equation and in this equation uh, all all the variables are different right so we we need to introduce one of the variable either we need to introduce sa or sc in this equation so for that what we can do is that we can write the equation for this h right so from this we can say that h the total height of the mechanism is equal to this sc 
plus this x and plus this s d. And now we have s d in this equation. So, we need to write this s d in terms of s c right. So, s d is equal to h minus x minus s c right. So, now I can substitute this s d into this equation right. So, this will be 2 h minus x minus s c minus s b equals to l 2. So, this will become 2 h minus 2 x minus 2 s c minus s b equals to l 2. And now, if I take the derivative of this whole equation with respect to time, so then this height is uh, constant. So, the derivative with respect to time will become 0. Again, this length is constant, right. So, the derivative will become 0. This will be minus 2 v c minus v b and this will become 0, right. So, we will be left with this equation. Now, if we take one another derivative, so this will become minus 2 a c minus a b equals to 0 or from this equation we can say that minus 2 a c equals to a b and from this equation we can write that a a equals to minus 2 a c and minus 2 a c is minus 2 a c is equal to a b. So, this means that the acceleration of block A and block B will remain the same, right. So, both will accelerate, we, uh, both will have acceleration of same magnitude, right. So, now we have these two equations T1 is equal to T2, right, T1 is equal to T2 and AA is equal to AB. So, now uh, from these two conclusions, we have two equations, two unknowns. So, now we can solve it, right. So, this is equation 1. Let me write that equation 1 here. So, we have T 1 minus 44 equals to minus 3.11 A A. This is equation 2. So, T 2 is equal to T 1. So, I will replace it by T 1 minus 50 equals to 1.55. This is A B, but A B is equal to A A, right. So, I will write A A in place of A B. So, now we have these two equations, two unknown. We can subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So, their signs will become opposite. So, T 1 will cancel out. This will give us plus 6 and this will be minus 3.11 minus 1.55. So, this gives us minus 4.66 AA and if I divide both sides by minus 4.66, so we will get the acceleration of block A. So, we can write that this will be 6 divided by answer. So, the acceleration of block A from this equation is 1 point minus 1.287. So, acceleration is equal to minus 1.287 feet per second square. So, when block A is moving downwards, it is accelerating with minus 1.287 feet per second and this since A A is equal to A B, so both the blocks will have the same acceleration, right. Right. So, this is that A A which is equal to minus 1.287. Now, once we know this acceleration, we, we need to find the velocity of this block B. So, we are given that uh, uh, we, we can find the velocity of block A. So, we are given that the initial velocity of block A is given which is 5 feet per second in the statement, right. Here this is given that this is 5 feet per second and ultimately it will stop, right. So, that final velocity of block A is 0 and we know acceleration now which is minus 1.287. So, now we can write that uh, V A square will be equal to the initial velocity square plus 2 A A into S minus S naught. So, now the final velocity is 0. So, this will become 0, right. And initial velocity is given which is 5. So, I will write this as 5 square 
प्लस टू ए एज माइनस वन पॉइंट टू एट सेवन and let's say that the initial position of the block a is let's say s not is let's say equal to 0 so s minus s not will give us s right so this is 0 and from this equation if i bring this 5 square to the other side so it will become minus 25 i can write it here as minus 25 equals to this thing right so this is plus 2 into minus 1.287 s and if i divide both side of the equation by this right so this will be minus 25 divided by 2 into 1.287 this is also minus right this is minus so we will get the displacement or the distance traveled in positive sense right so s is 9.71 feet right so the block will travel a distance of block a will travel a distance of 9.71 feet with an acceleration of minus 1.287 so we were required to find the acceleration of block a so the acceleration of block a is minus 1.287 and the distance it travels before going to stop is 9.71 feet so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have learned the solution of this problem which is a little bit tricky kindly like my videos if you people want me to solve such more problems also subscribe my channel uh, that will help me a lot i am doing all this free for all you people